Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, my child, set your eyes upon me, above your troubles, above your problems. Yes, set your eyes upon me and not on your weaknesses. Set your eyes upon me, above your needs. And as you do so, you shall not be put to shame or turned away. For whoever looks to me shall be saved. For I am bigger than than your troubles. I am bigger than your weaknesses. I am bigger than your personal needs, for nothing is impossible for me. I am calling you to the impossible, because with me all things are possible. And just as I call my servant Joshua to lead my people Israel across the Jordan River in faith, to possess the promised land. I will call you also to exercise your faith and possess what is rightfully yours, my child, in prayer and action. I have created you and prepared you for this very moment. I have equipped you for every battle that may come your way. I will even put fear in the heart of your enemies. When you are focused on me, when you look to me, yes, I shall fight all your battles. For as I was with your forefathers of faith before you, so I shall also be with you, my child. Know that I am with you. Know that I am for you. Be at peace this day, my child. Shalom. Praise the Lord precious saints. The Bible says, according to Mark 4, verses 41, they were terrified and asked each other, who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Precious saints, the disciples became fearful when the storm came around the boat that night, but they were amazed at the authority of that Jesus had to rebuke the storm and the forces of darkness around. Remember this precious child, that according to Psalm 23 verse 1 to 2, the Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He refreshes my soul. God wants to refresh your soul today. So whatever storm that you might be facing today, remember that the same Jesus that rebuked the storms, that rebuked sickness, that rebuked infirmity, that rebuked every oppressive demonic spirit is also here today to speak to every giant, every mountain before you, every storm that's before you. And all you need to do is stand still and move forward in the faith and possess what is before you. This is the year to occupy for his purpose, precious saints. And all you need to do is to look to him again today. Set your eyes on Jesus and not on the situation around you, not the storm around you, not the troubles around you, not your needs, not even your weaknesses, not even your sin, but rather confess your sins. And as we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Heavenly Father, I pray for each person today. Dear Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd. You are the lamb of God. And we need you to come to each person today that you will also make us to lie down in pastures of green grace. For we have been restless. We have even had wandering hearts. And we need the quieting waters of the gospel for our soul today because we hunger and thirst for you. Presently, you know the conflicts and the emotions and the turmoil around each person. We need that kind of refreshment that cannot be found in just a changed circumstance, but only in a compassion 
compassionate God that will come and bring times of refreshing to our weary souls. Return to us the joy of our salvation. Because of you, Jesus, we don't lack anything essential as you are the lamb of God who takes away all the sins forever and we confess our sins today because you are faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness Lord we pray today Lord, we pray today that as now we are dressed in your righteousness alone, faultless to stand before the throne. And as the Lord of Lords, you are currently working in all things for our good and for your glory. The rule of the whole world with your truth and grace today as the Lamb of of the new city you have secured our place in the coming world of eternal delights the new heaven and the new earth we thank you for what you did on the cross we thank you lord jesus that we will work out our salvation with fear and trembling we receive the good news in every area of our life jesus we need your help to sort out all of our feelings, all of our emotions. We need you to help steward our emotions in line with the truth of your word. Oh Lord, I pray for those that are feeling confused today. Oh Lord, for those that are second guessing today, those that have been double minded, you know how much the things that are going on within their lives speak through all their conflicting thoughts, oh Lord. You know, Lord, their voices. And Lord, as they call upon you today, you will answer them. You know their name and you want to hear their voice more distinctively than any other voice. Oh Lord, I pray that they would open up their ears to hear the good shepherd because the sheep know the shepherd's voice. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, those that have been feeling discouraged, Lord, and Lord, with everything that is going on around them, Lord, I pray that you would just come and heal that person today. Heal that person. Heal that person. Heal that person today in the name of Jesus Christ, that they may feel loved. Lord, that they may feel loved in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, for those that need healing, bring healing. For those that need hope, bring hope. For those that need a new beginning, Lord, that you are the God of a second chance. Lord, those who cling to you, they shall be saved. Lord, I pray for each person today. You are the good shepherd. And Lord, I pray that you would even leave the 99 to go after the one. Come and touch your people. Come and touch them and encourage them and fill them with your presence, with your love, with your joy, with your peace today. Oh God. We magnify your name. Oh, Lord, have your way in each person's life today. And as they look to you, you will bring a time of refreshing to each person today in Jesus' mighty name. We pray and believe. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Repentance Revival Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance. Repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, we encourage you, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can follow us on Facebook or Instagram or our Rumble page. You can also join one of our WhatsApp groups. If you desire repentance revival in your nation, it starts with you. It starts with you joining all these fastings that we're doing, specifically targeting and inspiring and stirring up revival in your hearts and all the stories that we do on our Corporate Friday fast each week and also our monthly fasting, always pointing about preparing us for the coming of the revival that is coming, Precious Saints. So I encourage you, if you haven't already, you can become a member of one of those WhatsApp groups. Just send us an email with your country. Let us know. And if we haven't got one, we'll start one for your country. But please, if you're going to send us an email, then make sure that you join it when we send you the link and also the invitation to send to others. Forward it to others. Don't just sit on your salvation yourself, but rather send it to others that also desire revival in your life nation's precious saints. 
time is short, and I encourage you to join this week's Friday Corporate Fasting, which also has a revival program to go with it. We're talking about Ireland this week. And also the following weekend, we have the three-day corporate fasting for the end of the month of January. I encourage you to participate so that you can see God move in a powerful way. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.